Thank you for your interest in Villa Lagoon encaustic cement tiles and V-seal concrete sealers. Villa Lagoon Tile produces the world's most beautiful encaustic cement tiles in the widest variety of shapes, colors, and patterns. V-seal concrete sealers has been offering superior concrete sealer products to concrete professionals since 1988. With over 10,000 clients on every continent except Antarctica, V-seal has provided sealer products for projects such as Honda, Google, Dallas Cowboy Stadium, Bellagio, LaGuardia Airport, and all branches of the U.S. government, including multiple projects with NASA. V-SEAL's hallmark is expert live technical service. With a simple phone call, you can speak to an experienced technical advisor capable of assisting you with almost any sealer question, from high-profile commercial projects to residential driveways. V-SEAL is the official sealer supplier to Villa Lagoon Tile and has prepared this instructional video specifically for the installation of Villa Lagoon and caustic cement tiles. The procedures seen here can be used for both residential and commercial installations. Should you have any questions regarding information contained in this video, please contact V-SEAL. Thank you again. You can expect many years of enjoyment with Villa Lagoon tiles protected by sealers from VCO concrete sealers. Precautions include the following. Cement tiles are very absorbent. Raw tiles can be easily stained until they are appropriately sealed. Avoid walking on the raw tiles or handling with dirty hands. Tiles must be clean and dry before each coat of sealant. Moisture in the tile can be trapped by the sealant and cause discoloration later. Always test products on a single tile before applying to the entire floor. Do not make any unnecessary pencil marks on cement tiles as they may be impossible to remove later. Cement tiles, as with all building materials, are subject to contraction and expansion depending on climate. If you are covering a large area, install it as a floating floor using an uncoupling membrane or similar product and or use expansion joints to prevent cracks in your tile. Ensure that the products you are using provide adequate support for the tile. Procedure outline is as follows. One, tile layout. Two, tile setting. Three, cleaning and drying. Four, applying sealant as grout release. Five, grouting. Six, application of sealant. Seven, routine maintenance. Step one, tile layout. Prior to installing, lay out at least one row of your tiles dry without adhesive in each direction of your intended tile orientation plan to see if any adjustments need to be made. You may need to shift the layout to balance border tiles from the walls. If using pattern tiles, make careful note of the tile's orientation. Snap guidelines using a chalk line to suit your layout. A light coat of clear spray or hairspray will help preserve the chalk lines. Step 2. Setting the tile. Setting our cement tile is not difficult. Preparation is a key component to success. Remember these tiles are porous and can be stained by dirt, thin set, chalk, pencil marks, and greasy hands. Pre-wet tiles by dipping them th for 3 to 5 seconds in water prior to setting, then letting them drip off excess in a cooler. We recommend the following procedure. 1. Examine all tiles for damage. There is some color variation between tiles. It is the nature of handmade tiles, not a flaw in the tile. 2. Follow your layout from step 1. Now is a good time to recheck. 3. Prepare the thin set mortar. It should be stiff enough to stand up using a half inch trowel. 4. Unsealed cement tile is very absorbent, so pre wetting the back side of the tiles prior to setting is required. Fill a bucket with water. Briefly dip the tiles in the water for 3 to 5 seconds. Let the excess drip away in a second bucket or vessel. Avoid letting the tiles sit in water for long periods of time. 5. Working in 2 to 3 square foot areas, spread the thin set on the tiling surface using the hand trowel. 6. Use a half inch or three quarter inch notch trowel. 7. Press the tile down firmly with your hands. Do not use a hammer or rubber mallet. This can break the tiles. Traditionally, cement tiles are set abutted to one another without spacers with a very narrow grout line, one eighth of an inch. For this documentation, we are using a wider grout line with sanded grout to increase visibility to the viewer. 8. Avoid getting the thin set on the surface of the tile. The thin set could stain the unsealed tile. 9. Follow the chalk line guides in one direction using whole tiles. 
Be sure to check for squareness, alignment, and lippage on every tile. One good test for levelness is to slide a coin across your tiles. 10. Begin seating tiles in the opposite direction along the guidelines using the same procedure as above. Step 3. Cleaning and drying before applying grout release sealant. 1. Once the tiles are set, let stand, cure, 24 hours until dry. Look for any surface dirt or dried mortar and remove with a razor blade carefully without scratching the surface. Do not use acids, vinegar, or bleach on cement tile. A razor blade for scraping or medium sandpaper of about 220 grit with water is acceptable. Very fine sandpaper may polish instead of remove debris. It is acceptable to use drugstore hydrogen peroxide to remove some stains on cement tile. OxyClean can be safely used too. 2. Allow tiles to dry out completely. If tiles are sealed and or waxed when wet, it can impede evaporation and result in ghosting under the sealant. 3. During drying, protect tile at all times from workmen, foot traffic, etc. Ram board is a breathable product on a roll made for this purpose. 4. For best results, you can test that your tiles are thoroughly dry by using painter's tape to cover a small area of tile with plastic wrap and allowing it to sit overnight. If the underside of the plastic has any moisture on it in the morning, the tiles are still not dry enough. This test is highly recommended in humid environments and in installations with radiant heating. Powering on a subfloor heating system, even for a brief test while the tile is still damp, can permanently damage your installation. Step 4. Applying sealant as a grout release. We recommend the VLT Nano Sealant as the grout release and a second coat after grouting as a top coat sealant. Failure to use a grout release can result in the tiles being permanently embedded with grout residue. VLT Nano Sealant is UV stable for exterior and interior use over either tight or open surfaces. Apply at 50 degrees to 85 degrees Fahrenheit ambient air and substrate temperature. Grout release using the VLT Nano Sealant. Directions for application. 1. Surface must be clean, dry, and free from contaminants such as grease, oil, or wax. It is important that the tile be dry. We recommend 24 to 36 hours after the tiles have been set. Note: Any residual moisture may cause ghosting and whitening of the sealant. 2. The key for best results is applying the product in thin coats. Thick coats take longer to dry or cure and reduce abrasion and stain resistance. 3. Apply the product prior to grouting using a paint pad applicator. Available at big box stores and paint shops. Using a low nap roller for application is also acceptable. 4. Pour a portion of the nano sealant into a paint roller pan. 5. Dip the applicator in the mixture and let drip off. Break off excess on edge of pan. 6. Attention. The key to success is putting a thin coat of the product on the tile. Do not allow the sealant to puddle on the tile. Excess sealant will not dry evenly and can inhibit curing. 7. Spread a thin coat of mixture evenly using vertical or horizontal motions without pressure. Let the applicator glide over the tile's surface. 8. Do not go back over an area until it is dry to the touch. 9. Let dry or cure for at least 24 hours before grouting. For maximum hardness, let cure for 48 hours. Step 5. Grouting the tile. Important. Do not use dark tinted grout unless it matches the color of your tile. This can stain your tiles in light areas. Test your grout on a spare tile. On solid color tiles, use grout of a similar color. On multicolor tiles, use a mid-range gray untinted grout. Sidewalk color. Before grouting, make sure the first sealant coat is completely dry and is cured a minimum of 24 hours. Generally, cement tiles are set abutted to one another with a small grout line. The only exception is for outdoor use or designs where some clients may prefer a wider grout line for better waterproofing. 1. If the grout line is 1 8 inch or less, unsanded grout is recommended. With larger grout space, use sanded grout. 2. If closely spaced, mix the grout to a slurry consistency, slightly runny, not thick. 3. Apply the grout to areas of 3 to 4 square feet and push the grout around the area using a grout flow or squeegee. Repeat in 30 minutes if using very thin grout. 4. Clean up excess off the face of the tile using a sponge and water. Avoid pulling the grout from the grout line by wiping at an angle to all grout lines. 5. Let dry or cure for a minimum of 24 hours. Step 6. Nano sealant as a top coat sealant after grouting. Surface must be clean, dry, and free from contaminants such as grease, oil, wax, or lint. Any debris left on the floor will be there permanently after sealing.
Two, it is important that the surface be dry. Any residual moisture or uncured grout release may cause the top coat to clump and not spread evenly. Three, the key for best results is applying the product in thin coats. Thick coats take longer to dry or cure and reduces abrasion and stain resistance. Four, apply the product using a Sureline paint applicator with a fresh pad. Five, pour a portion of the nano sealant into a paint roller pan. Six, dip the applicator in the mixture and let drip off. Break off excess on edge of pan. Seven, spread the mixture thinly and evenly using vertical or horizontal motions without pressure. Let the applicator glide over the tile surface. Eight, do not go back over an area until it is dry to the touch. Nine, let dry or cure for at least 24 hours before allowing traffic. For maximum hardness, let cure for 48 hours. 10. Repeat for subsequent coats. For commercial applications, we recommend applying Stonelock 2K High Performance Urethane as your final top coat. Step 7. Stonelock 2K High Performance Urethane Top Coat. Read and understand all manufacturer instructions prior to use. Use new mixing pails. Never mix more than one gallon at a time. Thoroughly shake part A. Pour part A and part B into a pail. Blade stir with a drill for five minutes at a slow speed. Work pail walls and bottom to ensure complete mix. Wait 15 minutes induction time for extra low gloss and low gloss. 30 minutes for gloss. After waiting the induction time, dilute with water. 23% by volume for extra low gloss and low gloss. 20% by volume for gloss. Blade mix again for one to three minutes. Apply with pad or quarter inch nap roller in overlapping V or W pattern. Apply at four to five mils wet thickness, which you can verify with a wet mill gauge. Always maintain a wet edge. Do not pour the material on the floor. Use a roller pan. Move quickly. Wet sealer should appear translucent white, not white. Any excess should be immediately rolled out. Material is typically print free in 10 to 12 hours and walkable for light traffic in 15 to 18 hours. Do not cover until final cure at 3 to 4 days. For extreme applications, a second coat of 2K may be applied. Stonelock 2K is available with anti skid grit, which should be applied as the final coat. Ongoing maintenance of cement tiles 1. Never use acid cleaners for cement tiles. Use only pH neutral mild soap or dish soap. See our website, www.villalaguntile.com, for suggestions. 2. If needed, reapply sealant to high traffic areas. 3. Swiffer or similar cleaning tools are a good choice for tile floors. See our website for links to special 3M cloths that are more efficient than grocery store types. 4. Many stains can be removed with inexpensive drugstore hydrogen peroxide. Saturate a clean cloth or white paper towel and let it sit on the stain. It does not harm the tile and is similar to teeth bleaching. See our website for more stain removal tips. Thank you for your time and attention for the duration of this instructional video. If you have additional questions regarding tile installation, please do not hesitate to contact Villa Lagoon Tile. If you have additional questions regarding encaustic tile sealer or the sealer process, please do not hesitate to contact V-Seal.